What's going on, everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality, guys. And you are listening to Tejas. So this video is going to be a little bit fun because we are going to move towards actuators in which we are going to take a look at a relay module. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, in previous video, we have seen how to work with vibration sensors. And if you have not watched that video or any of the video in the series, go ahead and take a look at the playlist that I have created so that you can get from basics and then come to this video. This video is important because all the major projects which we are going to do in home automations, which has one or the other electrical appliance involved in it, it has relay module. So without this relay module, we cannot do anything. Although there are two types of relay module, that is a solid state relay and a mechanical relay. What is the difference and all? I'll tell you in a minute. But we are only going to see a mechanical relay today. And in next video, we'll see what is solid state relay and how it works. So uh, we'll go with the structure of the mechanical relay. What is the working principle and all? And then we will go with the coding part. So let me switch the scene. Okay. So here you can see that there is a GIF going on right now, which has some kind of moving action taking place. So this is basically what happens in a relay. So in relay, there are two sections. One is a normally open section. And then one, there is a normally closed section. And both can be used in any kind of application but based on all both cannot be used at the same time both can be used either one of them can be used so how it works is the basic principle of the relay module is that there will be a magnetic coil which will be involved in it and whenever the current is passed an armature that is this part will move and either complete the circuit or interrupt the circuit that is how the basic principle of this relay module is so internally so internally of this particular block that is actual relay and the rest of the thing is a module used to create the whole relay module so this basically is the relay and inside this is this part that is what it, what it is so whenever we are passing a current what it is doing is if you see here when they are passing the current from here this whole circuit is getting completed and then this armature is getting pulled this side and this current is getting completed circuit and this one is getting open now in mechanical relay there are two sections so going back to the uh, module actual module we'll see here let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see that this is a four channel relay module now. We can have two channels, there is a single channel, there are eight channels, there are 16 channel uh, relay modules that can be used. And majorly uh, relays are used in uh, industrial applications, in system com controls, controlling their big industrial machines and all. And also in household appliances, we use relay module. So any place where based on a five volt current, we need to control a 200 plus volt current. or about the, the current that can be bared by any uh, sens sensed appliance for example let me give an example for that so say for example there is a machine that works in a moderate temperature and humidity and if there is a rise in temperature or humidity and we need to stop that machine at that moment then what we'll do we'll use this relay module we'll use a temperature and humidity sensor we'll sense the temperature and humidity and if the temperature rises we'll send the signal to relay module from arduino from arduino and then we'll open the connection of the circuit and we'll stop the machine so that is how basic uh, 
working principle of relays and where we can use it. So uh, the structure of the relay is we have three pins in each section and this is where the circuit is getting impacted and this side we have few GPIO pins. So here we have two types of connection there is a normally closed connection as you as you saw in the gif that there was a normally closed connection and there is a normally open connection in this so based on where you are connecting the uh, appliance you have to write the code so if you are writing it in a normally closed connection then uh, what we have to do is we have to pass on a different set of signal that is instead of low will be passing high or if instead of high will be passing low something like that and in normally closed connection you have to pass in different set of codes so that is how it works and then this side if you'll see here we have gpio pins so if i can zoom it a little bit more to make sure you can see it if we have ground and at this extreme this side we have vcc and in between we have in one in two in three in four so any of this pin is connected to the digital pin of Arduino. So the Arduino here will send you an active or active high or low signal and based on that this relay module of that particular number say for example in one will in one will impact this relay module in two will impact this relay module in three will impact this relay module in four will impact this relay module. Now in uh, mechanical relay the thing is that there will be a moving armature and a coil and based on that the relay will work in solid state relay there are no such moving parts rather there are uh, semiconductors and optocouplers which will be moving which will be working and since there are no moving parts uh, there is no sound in solid state relay there's a clicking sound in mechanical relay and we will hear that in a minute but that's one of the difference in the working principle and second one is that Solid state relays are a bit reliable because there is no any wear or wear and tear of the moving parts. I'll show you the relay because I have bought it uh, to show you guys. So this is how the solid state relay looks. And you can see that there is no any normally open close here. There are directly, there is only one connection which is open usually. And whenever we are passing the signal, the connections will get closed. Now we are going to see the solid state relay in coming video. I don't want to make this video too lengthy. That's why I've kept a two part for this. And let's move into the coding part now. So in coding, uh, the code is fairly simple. There's no any complication in that. So we are having the relay connected to pin two. We are putting that pin as an output. And then we are by default, sending a active high signal so that the normally open connection will work in an inverse way and so does the normally closed connection and then in the loop what we are doing is we are putting a normally uh, we are sending a active low signal for five seconds to turn the relay on and then active high signal again to turn the relay off for five seconds uh, that's it for the code there's not much of a rocket science again in that so We'll go to the connection back again. I'll do the connection quickly uh, so that I can explain you. Okay guys, so the connection is done now here. You can see that we have connected uh, we have connected the VCC from this side that is the 5 volts and we have connected it to the breadboard. So make sure you have a small screwdriver as well to work with the relays. So relays, have, relays do have uh, such kind of connections where you need screwdriver. So 5 volts we have connected here and out of that one 5 volt is coming to relay module and another 5 volt is coming for the LED. Now here in this side you can connect any electrical appliance. It's not like we have to connect any small LED or not. You have, you can connect a regular home appliance as well for that. So that is one thing. And then the second wire is going to LED. So that's why I needed breadboard because for Arduino we have only one 5 volt uh, connection. And next to that uh, we have one 
pin which is going to ground back and the minus part of led is also going to ground and then the digital pin is going to pin to that's it for the connection there is not much of a complication here and we will connect the LED. We have i have already uploaded the code for testing so we'll upload the same code again and now you can see that the leds the led is off the code is uploaded and we'll wait for five seconds and we will see now here let me just close the led for one second you can see that there is an indication light here as well so it will blink to show you whether the led is on or off, on or off now if you are connecting this wire this side it will work in inversely now you can see that there is small blinking going on continuously sometimes it happens if the led is Oh, sorry the relay module is old and there is a current leakage in between because this is a very old module right now and uh, I have not used it for a long time and this is one of the reason that mechanical LEDs are uh, mechanical relays sorry I'm seeing LED a lot mechanical relays are uh, a bit less reliable than solid state relays and why we are going to see that in the next video so that's it guys for the connection let me just disconnect it so guys we are slowly moving towards actuators now and these are those guys who take action based on the sensors data and we have relay now we have a solid state relay as well slowly we'll move towards motor modules so we are moving towards modules as well these modules help to run uh, some of the actuators like the relay module is helping relay to work with relay similarly we have modules and controllers which are used to control uh, stepper motors we are still going to take a look at servo that is also one of the things that i want to do it so we are slowly moving towards the basics of actuators where we are going to take a look at few of the actuators and i am going to also then then we'll slowly start with the project so i know that it's too basic for now but uh, for those who want to get started with this i think this series will be really helpful so that's why it is and for those who want to revise their uh, no knowledge that is whatever they have learned in any course to watch my video that's what i'm trying to say so that's it guys if you like the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're not a subscriber share the video to all the iot enthusiasts and keep innovating guys take care thank you